So here is the first step in actually preparing our uh, shop light for conversion. We have to obviously take the fluorescent tubes out of it and set them aside in a safe place where they're not going to get damaged because as said before they are glass, contain mercury, and are generally fairly nasty. They have to be disposed of properly. Making this a good project to do. Now we have to get inside of it. We have to unscrew. There we go. That wasn't good. Uh, unscrew two screws that hold the top on. We'll be needing one again because we will, of course, be putting this reflector back on it. Uh, this is what we're going to attach the LEDs to to make it uh, work. And then the uh, end pieces, connectors for the, uh, hello, the connectors to the connect to the, uh, to the uh, two fluorescent tubes themselves need to come off. Uh, these are attached to the ballast itself. Now these pieces pop out. You just have to wiggle them off. These pieces are actually necessary. They have the, the screw hole to attach so they need to be put back. into the, the frame because they have the, the the pieces that hold the reflector in place. Now we have the connections to the uh, to the switch and to the power cord. So this connection here, uh, this is the what, what's called the hot side of the uh, the plug goes through the switch and comes out here uh, and then we have uh, what's called the neutral and then of course the ground uh, the neutral of course we will need and we're going to need some of this wire when we hook up the uh, the new piece and since the ballast is useless we're going to cut this uh, this wire off as long as possible and we'll figure out how much of it we need to actually connect to our module here it's actually going to provide the power. And we have we have power coming in here and then the ballast off at this end, and I'm not sure that this is a really good idea. Uh, we'll figure that out when we figure out where we're going to place that. And then this is held in place with a single screw. And then the ballast comes out. We unsnake it. We're done with the ballast. This uh, needs to be recycled. It too must be handled properly uh, in order to prevent hazardous things from happening, bad things from happening, uh, because it's, it's, it contains bad stuff. So it needs to be recycled and recycled properly. So we'll be back in a minute after I figure out exactly where the module is going to go. The next step that we are going to have to do is to put this plug onto some wire and it's going to have to be a fairly long piece of wire uh, just to give us some room to work in and then it's going to have to attach up to our module here. I will go ahead and turn the camera off now so that you don't have to watch me solder uh, this, this plug on this wire. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you hooking it up to the uh, module and then we'll be able to give it a test. So here I have a, about a foot of wire on the end of our plug. Uh, you can see there I have a little piece of heat shrink right here where the clasp hits and grabs. That's just to strengthen it up. We'll put the, uh, the body on and it just screws down. Now 
I had previously checked uh, the polarity on our light strips here and they are set up for positive tip polarity that's very common for 12 volt applications and so now what we need to do is set up and uh, for test on this so I need to connect my wires so at the moment I am not going to solder them uh, that's just in case something doesn't work uh, as soon as I know that it works Then I will solder them. I'm going to put some heat shrink tubing uh, onto the wires. And of course, we're matching color to color. Uh, that's not a racist statement. That's just the electronics convention that has been around since before I was born. Red is positive 12 volts, black is negative. Two wires are connected. Let's keep them separate for a little bit. Oh, one more thing we're going to have to do. Got to hook up the 110 12 volt side of it to the switch. Uh, give me just a moment. I'll uh, set up for that. All right, here are our 110 volt wires. The black one is traditionally, this is 110 volts now, so the black one is traditionally the live wire and the white is uh, traditionally the neutral. Uh, we have the blue wire here labeled ACN, which is AC neutral. The brown one is ACL, which is AC line. And I will just be attaching these with some wire nuts. These are uh, generally considered to be perfectly adequate for lamp fixtures and that. Uh, they have a good mechanical connection and especially in this, con this uh, application, the current flowing through them is very low. So now we have that set up. Take our 12 volt line wires here. Gotta make sure they stay separated so they don't short out. That would be really unpleasant. Gotta keep them connected as well. And then we plug in our light strip here, and we can see, we can test and make sure that this is actually going to work. Plug in our fixture. and turn it on. Oh, and here we have a section of beads that are not lighting up. Half of the strip is working, the other half is not. See what happens when we plug into the other plug. Ah, the other portion lit up. So somewhere we have a break in here and we're gonna have to go find that and figure out how that works. But for the most part, the power module is working and doing what we want. And that is actually the heart of this project. So, I'm going to solder and heat shrink my wires here. Make sure they have a good permanent connection. Again, I'll turn the camera off so I don't bore you with that operation.